Alright, so I set the exhaust uh, valves and tap it's with it whatnot. Um now I'm gonna do the intake. So I'm gonna turn the engine around basically. So the bench I'm working on because I'm gonna have to get on here. Just a socket and turn it over. So um this is just waiting, ready to go. After I adjust those two valves, um, just setting up with some magazines, just uh, sitting on top. Um, after I put a, a gasket cinch, you know, around it and the gasket. This is a primary, which I'm gonna, um, you know, I did already. One. Uh, one side just you just glue it on one side and so you can take it off you know if I had that on right now I wouldn't be able to turn that you know that stator rotor um, so it's my kicker my lever my chain my clutch uh, got a new boot whatever rear brake rod brake rod uh, the rear brake lever uh, my my pegs, my mid controls, or whatever my mid, you know, my mids, uh, little light uh, sending a brake, rear brake light, a uh, little switch, um, rod, wiring is down in there, just hooks up to this, you know, it works off a of spring. Um, so, I'm do these valves and uh, put the cover on, basically, and we'll be just done for the night or whatever. So the um, intake is uh, it's eight thousandths, or the um, exhaust was a uh, ten thou. So get on this eight thou. Make sure you have the right feeder gauge. Cause if you use the ones that look like copper or brass, you try and throw them in there, they're going to bend them up, they're going to bend up real easy, these are, this one's a little, brown, brown, a little sturdier, so, um, I got a lot to play with here, so I'm going to snug these down, I my hand, so, let's see, intakes, so, when one push rod comes all the way up, right when it's about to, right when it gets to its highest point, before it starts coming back down again, that's uh, you do the the one right next to it. So um, this is supposed to be eight thousand. So it's adjusting the screws go a lot. in here cleanly without rusting on the shoulder or any other thing one of these studs there we go now we're in okay now right, we'll, we'll stay right there for right now I'm going to adjust these like two or three times because you always want to go back and double check them after you lock them down you do a ball, turn it through everything and then you do it. You end up doing it like two or three times before it's like perfect. So and go back and just uh, check them all one last time just to, you know, be for sure, for sure.
this one's coming up. The left uh, intake push rod, rocker, and whatnot. Uh, let's just check this one out. I'm so glad I'm about to uh, be done with this bike because uh, this cheesy ass uh, metal or wood box. Uh, Stand sucks. So, uh, this thing's about to fall apart. Yeah, we're almost done here. After this, I'm heading to the. Gotta do the ignition, electronic ignition. I'm put on the cover rocker box cover and do the ignition, hook up the clutch cable, you know, you gotta time it, come on, So you need the spark plugs out so you turn it over, it makes it easier. You don't have all the compression working against you. Take this one. See if it moved or if it stayed where it's supposed to stay. the same too. So um, yeah. So with these bikes you're you have to adjust the valves all the time so just whatever, you know, when you're breaking them in after like the very first hundred miles you're adjusting your valves. It's like a Volkswagen, you know. If you're into Volkswagens, you know what I'm talking about. I'm into all kinds of different cars, but I've owned, I owned like 15 Volkswagens when I was my early 20s and teens. First car was a Volkswagen. Owned a bunch of split window buses and stuff, and valve jobs are common. So, cool. My, my valves are done. Um, fuck, it's almost 10 minutes here. I'll put the, this box on the rocker box on and then uh, in the next vid alright, late